Hello friends, Tony here, welcome back. In this video let's work with uh, edit and also let's uh, work with this index because right now we have a hard-coded table. Let's display the post belong to this user here and also we have this link and when we click here I want to navigate a post edit. Okay, so let's open the PHP store and here I am in the post index. And let's start from here. I'm going to display the same uh, attributes I displayed on the with React and view. So the ID then is going to be the title. Then uh, the image or thumbnail. And here is going to be the action, but we have the action down there. So let's remove this one. Scroll down and uh, let's leave only one tr the others i'm going to remove okay and with this tr i'm going to make a for each or for else so let's say uh, yeah let's say for else dollar sign pose as pose we don't have but we are in the receive them so let's just cut and paste it also we need to say empty because we use for else if it empty i'm going to add just a head shoe and say uh, no pause and then let's add a for and for else and here let's start to work with displaying the id by saying dollar sign post ID down there, the title, so dollar sign post title, here is going to be the image, so let's say image tag with a source, now here we are on the backend, so I'm not going to create a resource to manipulate the data, but I'm going to use the asset helper, Saying asset dollar sign post image. Let's add also the alt attribute and just say image, or we can say the title. I'm going to say just image for now. And then add some classes. So class uh, with 12 heads, 12 and rounded to Excel. I think we are good okay then here we have the anchor tag i'm going to use the route here so let's say route post dot edit and we need to pass here the id dollar sign post id and we have edit here okay now let's go to post index and i'm going to add here Post, not post all, but only the post belong to the user. So out user post latest, and we have two posts belonging to this user. And uh, yeah, we have this Apple MacBook Pro, which is right here. And now we are okay. If I click, we navigate a post for edit. Good, now let's work with the edit. For that I'm going to open the post create and copy, or let's copy what we have here. Because it's going to be almost the same. Instead of save post, I'm going to change that. We can leave it like save post, but I'm going to name it update post. We have a title, which is going to be wire model form title the same form we're going to use also here okay good yeah change this to be update and now we have that now we have to somehow fill the title and the content okay and let's start and work with that let's go to post edit here we're going to use the 
with file uploads because we're going to upload the images the same thing we have done on the post create and also let's inject the post for so public uh, post form dot assign form let's create also the method to update the post so we have this update post let's do that public function update post and here what i want is the same thing on the post create if i open the post uh, create yeah just called this form update for example and return so let's do the same thing i'll assign this form not store now i want to have the update method we don't have on the form we're in the create and then return redirect the post maybe zoom it a little bit yeah now let's open this post form and create the update so i'm going to copy this paste it here and change so now yeah this is okay let's go to post form and here we need to make some changes first i'm going to create a public post dollar sign post but this is going to be optional we're going to assign the post only if we are on the edit not when we create because we use the same post form for create and the edit and then we need to somehow uh, assign the title the post title and the content to post content for that i'm going to create a method public function uh, let's name it a set post but you can name it what you like and here we're going to receive a post and then i'm going to say dollar sign this post the people with a post also this title to be equal with dollar sign post title and the content the same thing so dollar sign this content to be equal with dollar sign post content okay but where we are going to call this only on the post edit on the post edit we're going to say uh, if i open the web routes let me just zoom it for you scroll down we have this route for the edit so route get post slash post and we have the post edit component with laravel we have the route model binding so also with uh, live wire works the same on the mount of the component we're going to receive that uh, post so i'm going to say public function mount and here we're going to receive the post dollar sign post because we have this post edit component on the as a controller so we have that and then we can say dollar sign this form and call here chain here the set post passing the post okay so we are going to pass the post in here and in on the post form we have to receive that and we have to say this post to be able with the post the title the same and the content the same so now we have populated all the properties correctly and if i open here you can see if i go back and just select this one which is you at yeah we have you at here okay now here we need to make some changes on the update the image is not going to be required on the update we can uh, upload if we want so let's make this uh, no label 
uh, and okay no label then we have this data then we check if we have the image assign this to the image on the create always we already have the image but we check there now let's say uh, first i'm going to say dollar sign data image and this i'm going to assign the dollar sign this uh, post image okay then if we have the image first we need to delete the image belong to this post so let's say uh, let's use the storage facade uh, yeah we need to use this because it's going to be in, is in the public disk and then delete specifying here the dollar sign this post image like this and then we reassign the data image with the path returned from the store method which is going to upload the image in the post directory in the public disk and return that path here and then instead of something like this we just say this post update passing the data okay i'm going to delete the post directory and start from scratch just to see also let me run here the artisan migrate fresh yeah we need to sign up let's see let's create the account go to post let's create a post and use a fake filler let's choose laravel create we have laravel there let's choose another one let's choose live wire and we have LiveWire and Laravel. Of course, if I come here, we have two posts, two images, good. Now let's edit this, or let's edit the Laravel, and I'm gonna say uh, Vue.js post, and change the image also to Vue.js. Okay, I'm gonna say update. Now the image is changed, also the title. I'm going to see the, yeah. Now we have only two posts. If I come here and say, this is a live wire post. I'm not going to upload the image, just change that. We have the live wire post. And also here we have only two images. Okay friends, that's it all about uh, this video, what I wanted to show you. Next we need to work with the delete and also the preview the image, which is uh, very simple with a live wire. Now if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best, thank you very much.